how I did my EQ. Let me show you a little preview. Coming up, intro. Hello, my friend. Welcome here. This is Jose Velez. I do my own music. I'm a music productor. And I'm here in part two of this mixing series that I'm trying to do and help someone that is starting out. So if you're advanced, you can skip this. But if you are a beginner, then uh, you can get some ideas of how I'm doing it. And then you can follow along and do it in your own session. So today, uh, instead of uh, doing it from scratch, I did my EQ and then I'm going to go and walk you through what I did and then hopefully I can short these videos out because they are getting too long. So I'm trying to get this as short as possible. And But I want to still uh, give the concept and teach you. So, uh, first thing in the last, uh, in my first one, which is uh, the last one, I, uh, when I was sporting the drum audio, it was a uh, sporting low. So I went and I gained, I put more gain into the drum and I raised the way audio phone in the drum and now it's, it was louder, so I could adjust the lever. It was mass out the last time, but now it's in lever. And it's, uh, one more thing uh, I put in the master section. Uh, this is a rack extension by Silly Game. I love this little device. And you can have the mono switch here and you can uh, keyboard control and, and I put the end as no stereo. There's a tutorial about Ryan about this, very good. And I am checking my mixing in mono or stereo because sometimes you can get fooled by some instrument, but when you put it in mono, then you can really see what is masking and then when you place it to stereo, then you can see the width and here the width so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start uh, showing you so you have whatever EQ you use you have to understand uh, the bands and the frequency uh, whatever EQ you have uh, doesn't matter you try to understand uh, what band you have and what can you cut and boost here there's an EQ and here because this is the gain then this is one band this is the second band this is the gain see and this is the third band so this is a three band EQ uh, plus here you have the low cut see it's cutting the lows and here you have the high cut see it's cutting the highs letting pass in the lows and here I have another EQ so to show you around this is uh, number two over here so when I put this one the gain of this one is moving when I put it down is then cutting or boosting when you start now try to uh, go by 3 dB chunk so you are more safe like that then when you get used to it you can do more 6 when your ears are getting more uh, used to to the music and sounds here is band 3 and here you have the Q once you understand one band the rest are the same and here this is the frequency and this is the Q so the Q narrow or wide see how much are you cutting there and here you have 
the cut the high uh, cutting the high high cut and here cutting the lows see but I will be using the EQ from the mixing console so here it is so I'm gonna start um, let me show you the button so you can see really what is going on here is the drum and here is uh, I'm gonna start with the bus so here the bus and you can turn it on in here in the console if you have a reason or if you have the plugin because there's a plugin of the SSL console if you are using other door so here this is what I did but let me show you the, the button so here you have uh, one two three four bang this is a four bang plus the filters which is in here is the high um, the low pass filter and here the high pass filter so you can see it's letting the low passing and high cutting the high in here is cutting the lows letting the high passing and here you have the high see if you're boosting or cutting in the high and here is in the high mid here is how width you see this is the Q here this one is in the <laughs> low mid see low mid cutting or boosting you can change the frequency here see here is in the, the 300 and the last one here is in the lows. So it was kind of like this. So let's start. Let me play the drum. Okay, so right now, this is the drum without EQ in the bus. So I'm going to turn it on and show you what I did. I boost a little bit here, I cut here and I boost here in the highs. So here the drum is without EQ because I'm using the bus. Here you turn it on. And this is what I did in the bus. Nothing crazy, a little in the highs and a little in the lows. But nothing spectacular, just a little bit. So I'm gonna go now by channel. So I'm gonna go to the kick. And I'm gonna turn it on and this is what I did in the kick I went I put the head glow a little high by 5 dB I cut here in the second band by 5 I did nothing in this one in the high I high I put the high a little bit in the high G. Also, you can turn the bell in the low. And find the sweet spot. So in the low, I prefer putting uh, the bell. And you can turn the bell here or there. And let's see if I did the high pass a little bit and the, the low pass filter to control the sound 
It's pretty important when you have a, a lot of instrument that you start doing the filters because they will be fighting for space. So when you have a small instrument, a little instrument, then there's no no uh, no more no 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 much problem. But when you have a lot of instrument, you have to then think and sacrifice because they're gonna be fighting for each other. So let's see. Let me play it from here. Second chorus, first chorus. I'm gonna move on to the snare. There you go, that's the snare. Okay, this is what I did to the snare. A little boost cut here in the 500, nothing, a little in the highs. And then I did high, high pass filter, cut in the low, low pass filter. And let me put it back. Turn it on, uh, off, on. Then combine it with the kick. Perfect. Remember we talked about this, that I wanna be minus A in the most of the peak will be minus four. But I want to be here. Okay, here I have the hi hat. And the hi hat is over here. So turn it on. Off, let me put it back. See, off, on. A little bit in the high, nothing crazy. Cut here, nothing in the base. And trying to now move on. So, when you have it all those three together. So, little by little, it, I am featuring the good frequency and I, I am cutting the one that I think especially in the mid range they're gonna cover and this is a lot of mid ranging because there's two classic uh, two acoustic guitar two electric guitar pad sync so I'm trying to make space for everyone so let's see let's keep going in the toms I did pretty much let me turn it on. And this is the tom. Cut here in the 300. And I uh, boost here and in the high, the toms, so they can pass through. So listen to the toms. Let's do it without. Without EQ. With EQ. See, and then I'm gonna move on. I did the same for the three toms. Crash is, let's find a crash. Here is a crash. Way down. Now let's see with EQ. I and mean, I forgot to mention that I did almost Everyone with the high and low code. Mm -hmm. The max. I didn't in the master board, but I did in everyone. 
I feature a little bit of the high and now the right which is over here okay this is the right without this is with now let's play all together try to have the balance in so I'm gonna move on to the bass See what I did in the bass. So let me turn it on. This is the mic I just cut here. The high. Let's turn it on. Just got in there, so I just did it in the main, in the bus. I feature in the bus channel, low, with the bell, see? I got here in the 278, I feature here the, the mid-high, I do it without, and with. out and wait see it's cutting a little bit more let's move on to the acoustic guitar let's check our mono switch because real right now is in mono but if I press the key and N it's gonna switch to stereo so let's listen in mono uh, with the acoustic guitar I mean, so I can see the switch on and on I'm gonna press the stereo see very nice So really when you're mixing in mono you can hear clearly and if you need more. Then when you switch to stereo. Oh, it's amazing. But don't let it fool you. <laughs> so let's check uh, the EQ. I'm going to leave it in stereo. Let's switch to the EQ in the acoustic guitar. So this is the master one. It's off. Let's turn it on. This is what I do. See? I feature the highs just Nothing crazy. I did 6 dB, cut in the mid and the lows. I put a little bit here in the 120. Let's see if I did something in the individual uh, guitars. Nothing. I just did it in the bus. And let's see. I did a high pass filter here and a low pass filter why because I want to leave space for the bass but I don't want to get the life out of my acoustic guitar I want to get a little bit see sometimes they get to stream we want to get the life so around that sound good so let's see with the bass with the bed drum that 
That sound cool, see? But this doesn't have when you adjust at the gain. Overall, you can, some EQ have the output, so you can adjust like this one. You can adjust the overall to match the level. In here, you don't have that in the SSL, so what I have to do then, I have to turn the, uh, if I have too much going on, I have to adjust again the level, okay? So keep an eye on that that you have to try to, because it was not too much, it, then you have to see what you lose, what you cut, what you boost, and then check it out in, in that one. Going to the electric guitar. So let's see what I did. I'm gonna turn it on. Turn it on the filters. And turn it on the EQ. So this is the bus. You kind of take featuring the a little high and cutting the the mid ranging, the high here, and this is the low one. I did here in the low one, I was featuring more highs, cutting more lows, not too much. So they can be a little apart because this is the high one, but. This is the high one, it's off, now it's on. So I didn't boost in the high, I boost in the mid in the high one. So if you hear two of oh, the same, oh, the two one, this is the low, this is the high. See, different Q. And this is the master one, master boss, see? If I turn it off, see it's so muddy because it's a lot of mid-ranging. Now some more control, see? So let's put it with the acoustic guitar, with the bass, and the drum. There you go. See, this is nothing. It's very subtle. Don't go too crazy with this because you're gonna damage your sound. You get just very subtle in the chain. And remember, you have the bell if you wanna accentuate that frequency. Okay. So let's try to get. strings over here and with this I'm gonna be calling this out I try to make it short and I always get too long so sorry for that I hope you get value out of this turn it on This is the path of C. A lot of bass, so I had to cut this because I have too many instruments. And I want the bass and the guitar getting C and the drum. So I let the highs and let's see the high passing. I cut and I cut a little bit of the high in the 20. Okay. Let's see the difference. I have to cut this to make space for the 
die and make me. Okay, so I think that's all for now. Next time I will be doing compression and uh, it's, it's gonna be level match in all those louder peak. We're gonna turn those down and balance better with especially the drums and the bass and much more. So please uh, comment be down below and if you're getting a value out of this, smash that like. I know I have a long way to go, especially with videos, but I'm trying to help you out and uh, subscribe and release a new sound. It's inside of you.